Hi everyone. Um, today what I thought we'd do is a little bit of painting just for a change because we've been doing quite a lot of um, drawing and making things the last few videos. So one thing that's always popular when people ask me how to draw or how to paint um, are trees. There's so many different varieties of trees and there's so many different ways of painting them. So I thought I'd show you just a quick and simple one um, that you can have a go at at home. So I've got some watercolour paints here. Um, you might have some post paints or um, you might have um, some acrylics. Whatever paints you've got available at home should be fine. And I'm going to start by choosing a dark green. So I'm just going to load my brush up with some paint. And we're going to do some zigzag trees today. So when they're finished, they kind of look a little bit like conifers or um, like a Christmas tree style. Okay. So to begin with, um, I'm just going to draw with my brush a straight line. It goes up. Try, if you can, get it a little bit thicker at the bottom. And then as you come up, make the line slightly thin. It doesn't matter too much if you can't. So you just need three vertical lines. That's three lines going from the bottom up to the top. Okay, so really simple to start with. Um, I'm just going to get a little bit more green on my brush and I'm going to use a slightly lighter green now. I'm just going to um, put where the ground would be like that. Okay, just so you get an indication. And then underneath those lines, to make it slightly more realistic is just do three darker green splodges that kind of go towards um, the, the corner so like face a diagonal and what that should do is make your trees look a little bit like they're casting a shadow on the floor okay so these are going to be the tree trunks and then what you do is put the colour on your brush so I'm going to just stick with green but obviously trees depending on the time of year can be all different colours so you could do autumnal trees that have got like oranges and reds and yellows in if you wanted to so what you're going to put the tip of your brush at the top of the tree so up this point here and you're going to paint down in kind of like a zigzag pattern okay so you start quite small at the top and then you zigzag your brush and it gets wider towards the bottom. I'm just gonna leave a tiny little bit there between the ground and the bottom of the tree so it looks like you can see the tree trunk. Now I'm gonna get a mix of different color now. So I'm gonna get green mixed with a little bit of brown. So think about your natural earthy colors that you see when you go to the woods or the park. And then, so it's at the top, start small, and then your lines, your zigzag lines get bigger, 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 bigger. And this one's kind of going behind that one, like that. And then I'm just going to get a dark green, the last one. So small at the top with the tip of the brush. And as you come down, doing your lines. Right, like that. Okay. And it just, it's a really simple method, but it just gives you that kind of effect that the trees are kind of close together, overlapping. Um, and they look a little bit more realistic as well. So if you haven't got any paints, don't worry. Why not have a go doing it the same technique, but instead of using a brush, um, do three lines first of all with a pencil crayon or a felt tip, and then get your colour on top and just do the same thing but with colours instead of paints. Okay, so I can't wait to see what you do. I'm just going to play around with mine and add a few more little bits of detail and dark shadow. Okay. So zigzag trees and upload them onto Seesaw so I can have a look. Okay, speak to you soon.